In this video, we are going to be testing how well and fast these products work at removing rust in this ultrasonic cleaner. I don't know how this is going to go, but let's find out. What's up guys and welcome to today's video. So real quick, before we get into today's video, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to everyone who is already subscribed and is back for another video. And if this is your first one and you're new here, please consider subscribing. It'll help me out a ton and I will be eternally grateful. So I know a lot of you guys out there are like me. You love being out in the garage, wrenching on cars, and you probably might even have a setup like mine where you have just a bunch of different sizes of bolts. I have it all organized by size, 12 by 1.25, 10 by 1.25, 8 by 1.25, 6 by 1.0. Like, I even have a gauge to measure my bolts so I know exactly where to put them. The only problem is most of them, unless you buy them new and they're like zinc plated or stainless, they're gonna get rusty. Problem with that is when you go to do a new build, you wanna put fresh things on the new build, right? So when you go and you grab a rusty bolt, it doesn't feel right putting it on the car like that. So me, I like watching YouTube. I don't like watching cable TV, none of that. I'm always watching YouTube. And I looked up how to take rust off of things. And I stumbled upon Project Farms video. I watch all of his videos, I think they're awesome. And that is where I got the inspiration to do this video. So we're gonna be working off the floor today. Everything looks nice and organized right now because I just took the thumbnail, but I saw that he tested out all of these products and they all did a pretty decent job. I believe in his video, the crud cutter was the uh, best one, I believe, other than the muriatic acid. But obviously after a while, that thing eats through the metal. So I wanted to try them out. I haven't seen anyone here on YouTube do a video where they put it in a container and then they throw it in an ultrasonic cleaner. So I figured it'd be a good idea to try it out. You might get some results faster. I'm hoping, I'm not sure, but that's what we're gonna do in today's video. So I went to Home Depot and I picked up five brand new nuts and bolts. One for the POR15, one for the Rust-Oleum Rust Dissolver, one for the Crud Cutter, one for the Evapo Rust. Um, oh crap, okay. One for the Muriatic Acid, and we don't have one for the CLR because this, I actually just picked it up last night because I couldn't find it, so I wasn't gonna do it. But I was randomly at Tractor Supply and I found it, so I bought it. So now we're down a nut and bolt, so we're gonna have to run to the store real quick and pick one up. Well, I guess we just need a bolt because we bought a six pack of nuts. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up a new bolt. By the way, all of these products that I'm using I'm gonna have a link to them in the description below in case you guys wanna pick any of them up. I'm sure they're all gonna do a decent job. Like I said, I've never seen anybody do it in an ultrasonic cleaner, so I think this should be a cool video. All right, we are back from Home Depot. We now have six bolts and six nuts for our six products that we have. Problem now is that these bolts and nuts come zinc plated, so we are going to be filling up a spray bottle with vinegar baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. That's our rusting solvent, I guess, if you will. And now we have to go ahead and they call it steel pickling because basically we're gonna fill this up with vinegar and we're gonna let them s the nuts and bolts sit in there for, I don't know, let's say two hours, just so that it can basically break down the zinc plating and then we will go ahead and spray our rusting solvent on them and they should get pretty rusty. So while we have the bolts being soaked in the vinegar, we are gonna make our rusting solution. I'm all over the place. We don't need baking soda. That's for a different video. We need vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, and salt. The mixture I found online says 16 ounces of that, two ounces of that, and half a tablespoon of salt.
I feel like a freaking chemist. Okay, so we are going to let these sit in the vinegar for, it's basically six o'clock now. So let's say 7.45ish, maybe eight, somewhere around there. All right guys, so we're back. It is now basically eight o'clock. This vinegar is looking very cloudy. The bolts are not looking shiny anymore. So I think they're ready to go. I'm gonna go dispose of this vinegar, then put the bolts in this larger bucket so that we can spray our rusting solution and then we'll see what kind of effect it has. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this on them now. I don't know if I should just like leave them soaked or what, but we're just gonna spray some real quick. See what happens. Look, it's already starting to rust. Wow, what the heck? The shadow ruins it, but holy crap. That is crazy. Okay, so getting these to get rusty actually took a lot longer than I thought. I kept dunking them in that tank, taking them out to dry out in the sun, and just, I kept doing that over and over again. I think I got them to where they're pretty freaking rusty and they all had the same treatment, so they're all equally rusty. So now we get to test all these products. We're gonna do three at a time in these containers right here. We're gonna do eight ounces of each because the crud cutter, I only got it in an eight ounce bottle. So I want everything to be fair, so eight ounces for each. And then we are going to be putting them in the ultrasonic cleaner three at a time for increments of five minutes. So we're gonna do five minutes 10 minutes and then after that i think we might just jump to 30 minutes i'm not sure yet i don't know how fast the ultrasonic cleaner is going to accelerate the rust removing process so i i don't know so let's go ahead get started we'll get these three first so we have the por 15 we're gonna do the rust-oleum rust dissolver and then we'll do the uh crud cutter the must for rust so let's go ahead and test these out we're gonna put eight ounces in those little containers and we'll get started before we go ahead and pour these into the cups and put the bolts in there we are going to set the temperature of the water inside at 44 degrees celsius that way we have the same temperature for both runs so everything is fair by the way i am gonna put a link in the description to this ultrasonic cleaner I originally bought the smaller version and I fell in love with how it functions and how well it works. So I sent it back and I immediately got a bigger version. These things are awesome. I clean everything with them. And I don't like to fill it up with solution every single time. So a cheat code is you can fill it up with water and then put a container full of whatever solution you actually want to use and that way you don't have to dump it out to put new solution in. The small container that you put in there is all you have to clean out. So that's what we're doing right now. We're gonna heat it up to 44 degrees. Once it hits the target temperature, we are gonna put these in the cups and immediately put them in there so they can start doing their thing. And then we'll take them out in like five minutes and then 10 minutes and we'll see how they do. So since the Rust-Oleum brand and the Crud Cutter are both green, I put the POR in the middle. So here we have Rust-Oleum, POR, and Crud Cutter. So we are going to put a nut and bolt in each, and then we are going to start the timer. Five minutes in and they're all looking pretty cloudy so let's go ahead and see the crud holy crap the crud cutter got to work quick this thing is completely clean oh my god wow um, I don't know if we should 
keep going with this one. I mean, it's it's done. And this, I feel like this is the least cloudy one, which is crazy. This is the POR 15. Looks like it's getting to work pretty quick too. There's some rust, but a lot has come off as you can see. So let's go ahead and throw that back in there. And then the Rust-Oleum brand. Wow, that got to work quick as well. All right, well, we are going to do another five minutes and then I think we'll retire these two. We'll see how far that one gets. All right, let's go ahead and pull the crud cutter out. We know this one is completely clean, as you can see. So, kind of hard to do with one hand. So, I'm going to take this one, put it right here. So, now let's go ahead and take the Rust Oleum brand one out. As you can see, this one is completely clean as well. So, we are going to set this one right next to that one. The POR 15, uh, it's getting there. I could still see a little bit of color other than gray. So I'm guessing another five minutes in there and it should be done. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this back in there. We're gonna take these out. So that one's ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and go to 15 minutes. That one should be done, we'll see. All right, 15 minutes for the POR 15. See what I did there? And it came out clean, completely clean. All right, so this one works a little bit slower, but it yields the same results, as you can see. Came out pretty clean. So we're gonna move on from these and go on to those. Five minutes, let's go. Not even two minutes in, and the muriatic acid turned yellow, and if you see the bolt, it looks like it's clean already, which is crazy. Five minute mark, let's go ahead and take the muriatic acid one first. Look at that. That is wild. Let's go ahead and take it out. Bam, it is clean. So we are going to go ahead and throw it back in there kind of like we did with these two. We're going to throw it back in there for another five. This is the Evapo Rust. Eh, it's working. It's working. It might be kind of like the POR 15 where it might just need a little longer, but it is working. So let's go ahead and throw this one back in. And then the CLR is almost there. This one definitely needs more time. So we're going to go ahead and throw this back in. I'm guessing this one will be done the next five minutes. This one is clearly done already. This one, I'm guessing it needs 10 more minutes. But let's go ahead and give it another five. All right, 10 minute mark. Let's go ahead and take the muriatic acid one out. Like we had said at five minutes, it's completely done. So we're gonna take it out. The evapo rust. Uh, it's, it's pretty clean. It's not as clean, so yeah, it's gonna need another five probably, but it's pretty clean. So let's go ahead and throw this one back in there. And then the CLR, this one is, let's see, 
And I'm gonna call this one done too. It came out, yeah, it's done. This one's good, so we're gonna call this one a 10 minute one, this one a five minute one. And this one, honestly, the Evapo Rust, it's not as bad as the POR was. So this might only take about 12 and a half minutes. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and do two and a half minutes this time just to see if it'll beat the Vapo or the POR 15. So we're gonna leave it in there by itself for 17.30 and then we'll see where it's at. All right, so two and a half minutes is up. Let's go ahead, pull it out. Let's see. Um, I think it's good. Yeah, we're gonna call it good right there. So this one is gonna be a 12 and a half minute one. So now they are all complete. So finally done with all six of these products. Feels kind of weird sitting here on the floor. I looked back at the footage and I realized that the POR 15, I called it a 15 minute solvent. Really, I'm gonna say it was, it beat the, the Evapo Rust right here. We saw that this one took 12 and a half. After looking at the footage, I think the POR 15 would have done it in like 10 and a half to 11 minutes, honestly. It's crazy how much the uh, ultrasonic cleaner speeds things up. These all got it done within 12 and a half minutes. I didn't know it was gonna speed it up that much. If I would have known, I would have done it in like two, two, two and a half minute increments in the beginning, just to see how well the uh, Rust-Oleum brand, the Crud Cutter, uh, the CLR, and the muriatic acid right here did, because we're calling all four of them five minute solvents, but like I said, there's no clear winner. All I can say is that they are all awesome products. Now, when it comes to best bang for buck, I think the muriatic acid right here is the best one. This giant jug right here costs, uh, I believe 12 or $13 and it brings, it's an entire gallon. So one gallon for 12 or 13 bucks. All of these other ones that are similar in size, they cost like 10 to $15. But if you guys are looking for just a quick job, you only need a little bit, the crud cutter, this bottle is pretty cheap. It's like, I wanna say I got it for like three or $4 on Amazon which is crazy because it works extremely well. So if you just wanna get a little batch done real quick, this is a nice way to go. If you wanna keep some for the long run, this is the way to go. I have all of these now that I can use to do my big set of used bolts. So I'm gonna go through all of them. Obviously I have the time even for the ones that take 12 and a half minutes. But yeah, it's just crazy that we went from brand new zinc plated bolts to rusting them completely to brand new looking bolts that are ready to just be zinc plated again. And I want to get into zinc plating maybe. So that might be something that we get into in a later video. But all in all, I had fun and I learned that all these products are really good, especially in an ultrasonic cleaner. Look, 12 and a half minutes max and you have clean bolts. Obviously, if you deal with something extremely rusty where it's like pitted and everything, it might take longer. I don't have anything like that and I wanted to keep them all even. That's why I bought six brand new ones and I rusted them in the same way, in the same container, just so that we don't have too many variables. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna get to work on getting all of these nuts and bolts uh, rust removed, I guess you can call it. So that's gonna end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. We learned a lot and we had fun doing it. So I'm gonna get off your screen now. So as always, keep finding new limits and stay on the gas.